wanting to drift on a settled Corsa but don't want to pay the big bucks for a sim rig, take out your old Call of Duty controller from your bottom drawer and let me show you how to set it up. This works with PlayStation or Xbox controllers, just make sure you have the necessary program to be able to use it on your PC. For example, for Xbox controllers, it is the Xbox Accessories app. Or for PlayStation controllers, get the PS Remote Play app. I highly recommend you use your controller connected to your PC with a cable, as the connection will be much more secure, but wireless also works. Firstly, as any other video, you will need Content Manager and Custom Shaders Patch. These two are mandatory to be able to run the script we will be using for counter steering with a controller. If you have already had these downloaded, just skip to this time. If not, follow along. To download Content Manager, just head to the description and click on the link. Scroll down and click Download Directly. And once you have downloaded it, just run the .exe file. And once the window is popped up, you will need a bit of information. To start, make sure you find your Assetto Corsa root folder, which if it is downloaded on Steam, it should be in your main drive. Program Files x86, Steam, Steam Maps, Common, and there it is. Just highlight it and click OK. Next, make sure your Steam ID is correct and add an online username of your choice. Next, run content manager head over to the settings custom shaders patch and click the green yes please install button and that is it now let's get into the controller programs and scripts firstly go to the description once again and download the gamepad starter kit once you have downloaded it unzip it and you'll see an extension folder next open another file explorer window to your set of corsa which you can just find in your steam library by right clicking the game manage and browse local files now just drag the extension folder we downloaded into the set of corsa game folder make sure you replace all the files when it pops up. Now if you have a PlayStation controller, you will need to download this tool. If you have any other controller, just skip past to this time. Now to install this tool, just go to the description and click the link labeled DS4 Windows. On this page, just click download, unzip the file, and drag the folder to a place it's most convenient. Open the folder up and run the ds4windows.exe file. If it does ask you to download a thing called .NET 8.0, just go ahead and download it and it's just an update to your already Windows software. After that, just run the DS4 for Windows EXE again, select all the support that you will need. DS4 is for PS4 controllers and DualSense device is for PS5 controllers. And then click close. Now once you're here, it might ask you to install some things. Just install them and then you're set. Once you're on this window, just click start on the corner and your controller should pop up here. Make sure you minimize and don't close this window. And that is it. Last stretch now, just open up your content manager, go to settings, custom shaders patch. Now you might see two gamepad FX tabs. Just go to each one, click active on the gamepad script part and choose a seven assist as your script. If you see only one gamepad FX tab, that is okay. Just go onto it and do the same. Lastly, go to your settings, acetyl Corsa, controls, make sure that the top box is chosen as gamepad. Enable one of the PlayStation boxes if you are using a PlayStation controller. And in here you can configure everything. I recommend setting buttons your gear shift, a handbrake, and a clutch. And there's many more controls here you can use. And that is it. You can enjoy insanely realistic and enjoyable drifting physics all at a low budget. I have more videos on my channel showing you how to get realistic graphics mods and more. Make sure to check them out on your screen now. And make sure you subscribe and like as it helps me out a bunch. Thank you guys so much for 1000 subscribers.